An ordinary person's hands can contain up to a million bacteria per square centimeter of skin. Healthcare workers' hands can contain up to 3 million per square centimeter. These can be transferred to patients, hospital furniture, and surgical implements. They can even make their way into wounds. Transfer of bacteria between patient and staff may result in infection, making the patient to stay longer in the hospital. This can lead to complex treatments. It can also lead to long-term illness, disability, and sometimes it can cause death. This all puts a huge financial burden on the hospital, patients, and their families. This can be avoided by good nursing and medical practices. And the most effective practice being good and hygiene. All this can be prevented if hospital staff just wash their hands. It's Monday morning at Ndola Central Hospital in Zambia and Nurse Betha has just started her shift. Aren't you forgetting something, Miss Betha? She hasn't washed her hands after going to the toilet, and they are now covered with bacteria, which she is taking onto a ward full of vulnerable patients. Morning, Mr. Tembo. How are you this morning? Okay, just want to do a dressing on you. Mr. Tembo has just had a major operation on his leg and it's time for Nurse Betha to change his dressing. As she hasn't washed her hands, Nurse Betha is now transferring the bacteria on her hands to the patient's open wound. She's also infecting the fresh dressing she's applying to the wound. Mr. Tembo is now at serious risk of infection and a prolonged stay in the hospital. Good day. And he's not the only one. Dr. Mwene is doing his rounds and wants to check Mr. Tembo's wound. Good morning, Mr. Tembo. How are you today? Fine, doctor. Okay. Can I see your wound? Your wound's okay. Okay. He checks the flesh around the wound for swelling and touches the dressing itself. The bacteria left there by Nurse Betha make their way onto his hands. At this point, Dr. Mwene should wash his hands, but he doesn't, and he's now approaching another patient with his hands covered with bacteria. Infections can be spread extremely fast when the medical staff does not wash hands before and after attending to the patient. It is possible to contaminate the whole world within a few hours. This is what should have happened at Indola Central Hospital. After going to the toilet, Nurse Betha washes her hands for 40 to 60 seconds using water and 5 milliliters of liquid soap or enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. When we wash our hands, there are certain areas that get missed. Nurse Betha pays special attention to these areas. She rubs her hands together palm to palm. She places her right palm over the back of her left hand and rubs her hands together with fingers interlaced. Then does the same with her left palm. She places her palms together with fingers interlocked. She rubs the back of her right fingers against her left palm and vice versa. She rubs her left thumb with her right palm and vice versa. She rubs her left palm with the clasped fingers of her right hand 
in a circular motion and vice versa. She uses the palm of opposite hand to wash the wrist area. She rinses her hands with water, dries them thoroughly with a single-use paper towel and uses the towel to turn off the tap. Her hands are now safe and she can safely go to change Mr. Tembo's dressing. First, putting on a pair of clean gloves as there is a possibility she may come into contact with body fluids such as blood from the wound. Disposable gloves and aprons should be used when there's a risk of exposure to body fluids, such as when you're putting up an IV line, examining the wound and emptying the urine bag. Gloves should not be worn when the staff are performing a simple clinical examination, such as taking blood pressure with no body fluid exposure. Meanwhile, Dr. Mwene is on his rounds. He's just seen one patient and now wants to check on Mr. Tembo. He cleans his hands with alcohol hand rub, filling a cupped hand with 5 milliliters of the solution, then cleaning his hands for 20 to 30 seconds. His hands are now clean and he's ready to examine Mr. Tembo. Hospital staff should clean their hands at five key moments, that is before touching a patient, before aseptic procedures such as putting up an IV line, after touching a patient, after touching patient's surrounding, and after the risk of exposure to body fluids. Alcohol hand wrap or soap and water can be used unless when hands are visibly dirty with, for example, body fluids or blood, then we must use soap and water followed by hand wrap. Mr. Tembo's wound heals well and is discharged after 10 days. If his wound had become infected due to poor hand hygiene, his stay in hospital could have doubled, meaning an even greater burden on staff time and hospital resources and an increased financial burden on his family. Remember to always wash your hands. It will save time, money, and most importantly, lives. Okay, bye, bye, bye.